wasn't. I, I didn't go out there thinking about an injury. Um, you know, that was a hard game. You know, I, um, I wanted to win the game uh, just like as much. I know my teammates wanted to. So, you know, I don't go out there um, thinking about an injury. I go out there about and think about leaving everything on the line for my teammates. Is it hard? To, you know, <clears throat> the last couple of weeks you haven't been able to practice. Is it, is it hard to? You know, just get out there and play the game every week, or are you at the point in your career where you know that, that doesn't necessarily make a big difference? No, no, no. It's practicing make a big difference. Um, no matter who, I don't care. I've been playing this game for 20 years. I mean, I think the timing is everything. When you go out there and you're not being able to actually get them type of run fits, or you know, be able to get your feet in the ground with your pass rush moves or whatever it may be, I think that's always plays a part. You, you start the game a little slow, and you know. The last two weeks, I feel like I have, um, you know, been each and every first series, second series, whatever it may be, I go out there and I'm trying to get a feel for it. Um, so, you know, like I said, this week I'm just taking it day by day, especially with the, uh, with the injuries. What's your day, what's your, what are your days like when you're not able to practice? Is this a lot of rehab and watching film? Um, I still watch film. I still am um, very active. I mean, I, I got all the information from, you know, meetings. You know, I'm watching the film and, um, of course, it's, it's rehab. Uh, I'm trying to, like I said, each and every day I, I come in, I'm trying to get this anchor better. So. Did you aggravate it again on Sunday night? Um, yeah, I did. Um, but I mean, I, I came, I come out each and every game. You know, As, I mean, I got this, I got it in my mind that when the season starts, I won't feel 100 percent no way. So, I mean, but right now, it just, I mean, right now, it's kind of banged up. So it's like each and every day. Take it day by day. So. What's the thought process? Because you got two games and now a week uh, starting on Sunday. Does that play into your mind at all? Um, I'm, I'm focused on just day by day. Honestly, I mean, I I don't know um, what God have in store for me, but you know, the only thing I can control, I can control, and that's attack this rehab each and every day, and just honestly, just um, believing what Brave them got me doing, um, and tying them, trusting in them that they're gonna get this anchor right, and you know, if it's be out there Sunday, Thursday, and whenever it may be. You know, I'm I'm excited just to be in the building for sure. So it sounds like you still feel pretty good about maybe doing it again this, this Sunday. Hey, if I go, you know, I'm I'm, I'm just I, I honestly don't know yet. I mean, I'm just taking it day by day, just like I have the last two weeks. So. Is the pain getting worse, or is it the same? Just kind of where is it at compared to two weeks ago? I mean, it just it's it's an ankle sprain. I, I think it just it's there. Um, it's not. I wouldn't say just getting all of a sudden worse, um, but I think it's just one of the things where I just have to get it healthier, um, especially with it being a long season. Um, I wanted to feel better for sure, so, I mean, that's why I said I just take it day by day for sure. Did, did you see what behind you, Dylan Cole's got a lot more time lately. What have you seen from him in the progress he's I mean, I mean, I just his willing to go out there and be ready to play. Um, Dylan have made a lot of plays well here, especially, you know, start with special team. I, th I go back, I think it was last year we were playing, I um, can't remember who we were playing. He went down and made, forced a fumble, and that, that's why I was like, okay, this guy, you know, he, he got some talent. And um, just by him stepping in on defense, you know, being able to help us out on a um, linebacker position, I think it's big for him and our team. So. And doing what you're, what you're asked to do? Uh, yeah, it's just something you got to be cognizant of. And, um, and then along with whatever the play call is, you know, we got different jobs on different plays. Sometimes you got to get upfield and have a high contain. Sometimes you got to go inside. And uh, I think it's whatever job on the play it is, it's just being cognizant of that. And, um, you know, maybe if it doesn't go exactly how you plan, being able to react and shut the play down before it's a huge game, you know, something like that. How do you balance that, like not getting too deep in the pocket but still wanting to attack? Uh, I mean, that's one of the, the hardest challenges there is because, uh, you know, if you get – you get too deep on uh, your pass rush, they can step up in the B gap. You get too shallow. Nowadays, these quarterbacks are athletes. They roll out deep and they'll extend plays. And um, it's just something you gotta be again cognizant of. But you can't you can't let it leash you or hold you back. You gotta find the perfect balance. And I think that's something a lot of guys, uh, all rushers, work on and are always thinking about. Is that something that kind of happened on my life? You just touched down. Oh no! I mean, I seen someone say something about that, and I just. I ain't allowed to be on social media no more. So uh, the play call, I did my job. I did what I was supposed to be doing on that play.
And I would just say I, I could focus on what I could do better after doing my job to react and help that play uh, not happen. But but at that time, going up the field and um, trying to win around the edge is what I was asked of. So I just you know worry about how I could maybe win quite quicker so that doesn't happen. And if it does react to stop that play from getting in the end zone. When a quarterback is 6'3", six, 6'4", six, like most of them are, and you go to the spot where they are, they're probably – easy to find because they're tall and looking over the line. Yeah. But a guy small like Russell Wilson, can he get lost behind that line, make him harder to find? Uh, I think, you know, yeah, sometimes when those guys are a little shorter, you got those big guys in front of you, other old linemen, you can lose them sometimes. But uh, it has its disadvantages for him too, you know, expect a lot of batter balls, get your hands up, quick passes. Um, being his vision, he has to look past us. So uh, they offset of each other and there's different bonuses for each one. This offense obviously has struggled a lot this year, but they do have some weapons, don't they? Uh, yeah, they, they do. They have a lot of weapons, and um, especially out there on the edge, you know, some fast receivers that can make guys miss and make big plays. And, um, you know, the best thing I could do to help, help the guys around me is affect the quarterback. Hands up, QB hits, sacks, um, anything to make him feel uncomfortable and maybe um, make the pass take a little longer, incomplete, or stop him from ever getting the pass off because we know those guys out there are explosive players.